pedestrian one. <laughs> Stranger one. So I can say, hi, Sharon! <laughs> Is it on? Yeah, we're live. Is the we're live? YouTube? Oh yeah, I'm live. Yeah, see? This is a little delay. Okay. okay. Should I post this? No, not on Facebook. Uh, yes. This is Facebook. This is um. That's okay. YouTube right This now. is YouTube. So Facebook has to be 5:30 sharp. Very annoying. Mm. But then we're now at least we can see the lighting is okay. Do you want us on YouTube or Facebook better? Well, it, either one, but then Facebook today, we will give out um, a little promotion if you comment. Oh, well, <laughs> comment oh. Sure. Sam's going to give you 15 Well, bucks. actually, actually on YouTube, if you comment, you're going to get the same. If you share and comment, you're going to get the uh -huh. same. Yes. You have to share and comment. Share and comment. Because you, can you can't share. just get free money. <laughs> you gotta make it work. Which one make you guys work? Which one are you on, Henny? I don't know. I'm not on Facebook. Okay, well, I'll go Facebook. Okay. Alright. The low ball. Oh, so I'll first start, right? Yeah, I'll introduce you. Okay. Then. Then I'll just tell them that you're today. 你放心他会带你你不要急你不要急没关系因为你不要急你不要急你不要急你不要急你不要急你不要急你不要急你不要急你不要急你不要急你不要急你不要急你不要急你不要急你不要急你不要急你不要急你不要急你不要急你不要急
all of my posts about that amazing uni. It's from him. <laughs> it's from Santa Barbara. I tell you, we in Asia have had a lot of many, many uh, good uni, and that Santa Barbara uni, oh my god. Oh my god. You need it, give it a try. Don't laugh, people. Later you'll know. <laughs> you try it and you'll get addicted. And you know, you can eat it at home. You can get a box of uh, um, that Santa Barbara uni and you can just eat it at home until you're happy. You don't have to go to the Japanese restaurant and order, you know, one order is like, what, two pieces? Four pieces? Yeah, ah, something like that. We it. go with boxes here, okay? <laughs> then they bring the boxes for Yes, you. bring the box, bring the box. So, but then a lot of people feel like, well, even actually myself, I have to admit that, feel a little bit intimidated that, you know, making sashimi at home because we all know that it's such a, you know, how you cut it, how you take care of it. It's just, you know, you don't feel comfortable doing it. Today, today he's gonna show us a few techniques, okay? Um, at the beginning, we're gonna have a little more complicated techniques that you can take a look and you can do, you don't have to. And then at the second half, we're gonna show you how easy it is to do like the just uh, ready to cut sashimi and he's gonna show you how to, oh look at this these are boxes of gold gold here Ra -ra -ra. here sorry these are boxes the of top camera gold I don't know can you see it yeah. move it to the center center I don't know which center <laughs> <laughs> oh, the camera froze oh the camera froze okay that's sorry. okay we just do this one okay I'll do it the camera's unfroze okay unfroze technical issue okay right okay so this is oh gosh and then this fat and it's very sweet and look at the color too jeez okay can put it back to the fridge and keep it fresh and uni is easy you don't have to do anything take it out wasabi and oh speaking of wasabi okay since we're gonna have such premium quality of fish there's no way we get the wasabi from a tube because you all know right you all know that right it's fake wasabi Today we're going to have the real wasabi from uh, Japan. From Japan! Okay? <laughs> it's like very good quality wasabi and then we're going to freshly ground that, you know, wasabi to go with our fish. And then actually the, the fresh wasabi is not as spicy and, um, you know, as the fake one actually. Just for information. Anyways, okay, and so let's welcome Sam! <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh. Yeah, so um, we're gonna start with the miso soup. Okay, yeah. so so he has this new product. It's considered pretty new, yeah, right? The yeah, new, it's like, it's, we, like, it's called what? Uh, omakase box. Omakase box Me, means kind of mixed fish. Yeah, mm -hmm. mixed fish. Box. You don't know what it is, and these are flo flown in. From Japan. Yeah, directly you can see here is like all the Japanese food here. Yeah, yeah, it's all prepared by a Japanese chef, by the Japanese chef, okay? And they prepare it and they send it over. You get these vacuum seal package that's already done. You get all the tips and the head, head too. And some people are like, oh, what do I do with it? Make soup. Make soup with it, the easiest way. So he's gonna show us how to use these to make amazing miso soup, okay? Okay. So we have a four pieces of fillet. Yeah, four pieces of fillet. And then the, uh, the head, head and, and bone. the tips, yes. Yeah. We're gonna use the head and the bone first. Okay. Yeah. Okay, put the other on the ice to keep it fresh. And there is a way to defrost your uh, fish too. Sorry, I just froze. <laughs> <laughs> Not the camera, <laughs> me. Because <laughs> I just realized I forgot to upload the video. You did. Shoot. Okay. Anyway, it's okay. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you how to do it. Um, uh, so there's a way to do it. So we're going to show you guys and tell you guys later. And today we have four kinds of fish. Okay, four kinds. This one's the uh, kimetai. Kimetai. It's the most, uh, one of the most famous, yeah. fit, you know, fish. Popular. Uh, yeah, right? popular yeah. one. And this one is the... Com Kampachi. Kampachi. Kampachi that has an eyebrow. Yeah. <laughs> the fish that has an uh, eyebrow. Kampachi is almost like a ribeye of the fish. I think people describe it as the ribeye of the fish world. Mm. So it's very meaty and very tasty. Yeah. 
And this is the Oji san. Oji san, this is Robin Lin, Robin Lin, Oji san. <laughs> Oji san means old man, right? So, but this fish really is called uh, Oji san because the, it's got a, like a a whisker. Yes. <laughs> okay, so yeah. this is Oji san. And this is the uh, red grouper. It's uh, yeah, it's a red red grouper. Yeah. Um, Every time it comes, is different fish, but then it will always tell you what kind of way to prepare it. So today he's gonna show you some ways that's probably gonna, you know, um, be helpful if you later on you order these fish. And we already have a pot of hot water boil. Ooh, and you just put the fish in. You don't waste any bit of the good fish. Just put them in. That's your fish stock, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm the sous chef. I'll take care of garlic today. Okay? And then he prepared all these ingredients. Do we move it? Do you, what do you need to put in? Sure. So everything okay. will be put in. Here. Let's show the camera here. So we have the egg tofu, right? Yeah. It's egg tofu. Daikon, the radish. Naka cabbage. Shimeji mushroom. And green onion. Green onions and ginger. ginger. And all put it in. Yes. <laughs> just just put it in. Yeah. See how easy. Just pot of hot water, put the fish head, bones in, green onions, ginger, especially when there are people who already cut it for me. You know, how easy. <laughs> and what's next? Right. Daikon, yeah. right? Because yeah. the root vegetables, we all know, it's harder to cook. You put yeah. them in first. Mm. We'll be, I'll be fired if I'm in a Japanese restaurant. <laughs> yeah. okay. And then we will keep it later until yeah. 4 So the uh, napa, veg, napa cabbage is easier to cook and the, the mushroom too, so we'll keep all of these later yeah. to put it in the last. Okay, so do I cover it? Sure. Okay. We cover it and then we move on to uh, taking care of the sashimi. Okay. Right? Okay. Yeah. Miso soup though, also, you know, there's uh, different things that we need to know, but we'll do it after this. Okay. We'll explain afterward. Sandy, son, hi. Hi, Greta. Dana. Ealing. Christine. Eddie, Oops. Li Jing. I Yes. We have to start early. Hi, Burton. Yes, you have to start a little early to relax a little bit. Okay. Hi, Mia. Hi, Aston. Okay. So if this is a kimme dai. This is a kimme dai, okay. And then we're gonna do two ways. Uh, yes, we're gonna do two ways. Okay. Yeah. First one is the cola yubiki. Yubiki. Yeah. And the other one is um um this our nigga. Uh. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> You're gonna flame it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, You're gonna flame like, it. Forgot how to call it. <laughs> It's fine, but then these are the most uh, complicated way right now. Okay, later on it's all gonna get easier and easier. So when you get a fish, you mm -hmm. you need to process a little bit. Um, you need to take out the comma. Mm -hmm. This is the comma side. Yes, the comma, the color. Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna take out the comma first. Okay. Then what do you do with the color? You can grill. Grill. Yeah. Or just um, put it in the soup is fine yeah. too. Oh, pan yeah, fry, can, yeah, pan yeah, fry. Okay. So let's take out the comma first. Okay. Second one, there's a bone here. There's some bones. Like the chest. Mm -hmm, yeah, the mm -hmm. bone. Yeah, the chest. So, so you just kind of take out the chest bone. Kind of dumb, huh? Yeah. Technical issues. Technical issues. Darn it. Okay, got it. Huh? 
It's on now. It okay. just freezes. And okay. And the chest bar. Okay. Mm. It's a color mm -hmm. And feel it. There's a bitrin. There's any form of bitrin. Okay. If you always use your hand to yeah. feel it. If you feel the bone, you just tweezer. Use the, yes. Mm -hmm. take tweezer is your best friend in the kitchen. Okay, okay. that's All it. Right. That's it. And then we're gonna cut it half. Cut it in half in the middle. One side for the. Hibiki. Okay. Oh, Hibiki! <laughs> now you remember! <laughs> no, 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 Yubiki. Oh, Yubiki! And the other one is for the um, Apuli. Apuli, Apuli! Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, low? Yeah, we, we can put the miso now. Okay. Why, why don't we just finish this? Okay, we'll yeah, finish this. We'll finish this and then we'll do the miso. Okay. So, you kind of have, uh, whichever you like, you can do mm -hmm. this one on the. Um, Apuli, and okay. then you can do this one for the uh, uh, okay. Yubiki. Yubiki, okay. Yeah, so I'm gonna use the water. Oh, oh hot water. water. So pretty. Yeah, it is. <laughs> What you do is really you just uh, yeah. so we need to prepare the ice bucket. Okay, ice bucket. Yeah. Uh, the water? glass bowl. Okay. So people can see it. Okay. This is big enough. Sure. So basically, you're trying to cook it here, the, uh, just the skin. You want to use hard boiling water, hot boiling water. Did I drink too much too? <laughs> hot boiling water, and then you want to give it a hot bath on top of it, shower, give it a shower on top of it. So you basically cook the skin and the skin will con con contract. contract. Yeah, so you will have a, a you know interesting texture, chewy texture. Why don't you do it? Oh, okay, you can do it too. <laughs> well, look at that! Do you see it? Ooh, it shrinks. Ooh, you guys see okay. it? Okay, that's it. Yeah. The and other then, side a little bit too. Oh, the other side a little bit too. Okay. How easy! Then the and then you right away soak it into the cold water. Yeah. Hot and cold give a good texture, yeah? Yeah. Okay, take this away? Yes. Chef? Okay. <laughs> so you just wait for it to cool down? Yeah, just okay. wait for it to cool down. And then we can do this one for the um, apple Okay, apple So on the plate surface, sometimes there's a scale too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just take it off. Okay, feel it if there's scale. Okay. Just kind of use a knife or your hands to kind of scrape it out. How do you cut it? Uh, this one you can cut it like uh, follow the follow the grain. Yeah. Is that called what the is grain. it called? The grain. The grain. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Either way is okay too, but depends on how big you want to do it. If you want to do the sushi, mm -hmm. you cut it for most. Um, well, diagnose. Yeah. Like Di diagonal, yeah. yeah. So your your knife is not like straight. It's always like at an angle. like a at an angle, like a thirty degree or something. Forty five, thirty. <laughs> <laughs> How often do you sharpen your knife? <laughs> it depends, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you can turn the other side. The skin the side skin up. Side, yeah. Skin side up. Yeah. 
<laughs> I love action. Hi, Chen Liangjun. Oh, you give a little um, cut? Yeah. Why? To. I don't know how to. <laughs> otherwise, too chewy. Oh okay. Yeah, you you break a break the tendon or something, yeah. Kind of like when I uh, deep fry the pork chop, mm -hmm. or shrimp. Sometimes, if we want it to stay straight, not curling up, can have to give a few cut. So you can do the upper. Yeah, because otherwise they could probably just curl up. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. So you do, you do the honor. Oh. Ooh, they curl up. So you want it to like be kind of crunchy, yeah? Yeah, just like this. Like that. Yeah, a okay. little bit. You don't want to cook it all the way. Yeah. 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 All right. The way. So now, see, we're already done with one. Yeah. Uh, the second one, this is cooling down. So is it ready? Yep. Okay. Again, with a die, with an angle to yeah. cut it. And then how big or how small is up to you, right? It's yeah. up to per it's a personal. And thing. then this one you can do the just easy way that like is. Just cut like that. Yeah. Oh, that's easy. Uh, Christine Kerr says she needs a nice knife. First, well, if you need any tool, message. To, uh, how about this? Comment, <laughs> and you can tell us what you want, and then we'll have our, you know, Sam to take care of our group order here. Cause I, I was, I'm already eyeing something. I'll show you guys later. I'm already, I already like some of his tool that I kind of wanna. So he said he can, he can take care of the order for us. Informative. Of course. <laughs> okay. Okay, that is. Oh yeah, see? Can it's... you put it up on so we can see the Here? Okay, yeah. Look at that. So this one is flamed and this one is uh, uh, after hot water bath and then cold water. It's like a it's like a what? Um sauna? Sauna, yes. Sana, what a life. <laughs> okay. All right. So we go Did you want to do the Okay, so we go back to the miso. Back to the miso. Yeah. Okay. So there's so many different kinds of miso. And again, it's personal preference. Some miso sweeter. Some miso is more uh, saltier. And uh, some, it's all up, up to what you like. I like to mix different miso. You already know my philosophy about mixing different things to create a depth of flavor. What about meow? Spoon. 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 Okay. So I will always mix. If there's different flavor, I'll always mix them. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. You just put it in there? Yeah. Oh, okay. So. Okay. I'll help you with this. Okay. 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 Um, miso. Yo, 
always do this because it's easier to dissolve this um, miso. So I always, you know, use a colander, strainer, and then I just do it like this. Do you think we need more? I think we need more. Okay. Yeah, definitely. definitely more of both. And I don't know. Uh, I also, okay, I'm gonna test you guys. One time I did a live about making my own miso soup. There's one secret ingredient that I put in. And what is that? Do you remember? Comment, comment. Okay, everybody, if you share this video, I totally forgot about that. You have to share this video and you comment and say share. If you do that, Sam has gift for you guys, okay? He's gonna send you a promo code. It's a $15 coupon uh, to use at Serenity Seafood. How about my videos ended? Robin, Facebook's ended. I don't know. This is still going. Really? Is your Facebook ended? It's still going. Okay, it's still going. Really? Maybe it's just yeah. your laptop. Oh. Okay, anyways, okay, you share this video, you comment, can you zoom in on the video, uh, miso so we can see, on the, the package? Oh, the package? Monica, do you want to see the package or you want to see how we blend it? <laughs> package, yeah? The package? Okay, here is the package. Zoom in. Here. Okay, still on. Can we rotate? No, oh, right side? Side? Okay. Yeah, it's gonna be easier for people. Okay, okay I need Thank you. So this is more sweet. The mm -hmm. different flavor. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, we just need a little bit more. Yeah, that one is good. Yeah. I probably put the whole thing. Yeah. Okay. It's a big pot. <laughs> Can I use it all? The package, okay. Did you get it? We, I think we did. Oh, great, I shared. Okay, she's gonna get the promo code for $15 off to use at Serenity Seafood. So everybody hurry up, share and comment. Oh, okay, comment what's my secret ingredient for miso soup, if you remember. You get a set of my stir noodle sample. If you remember. Anybody? Anybody? Okay, let me try again. Okay, boss. Boss, try. <laughs> <laughs> boss, here. Boss is like, what, me? <laughs> More? I think. Little, yeah. All of this, yeah? Yeah, all, yeah, of, all this. of that. Yeah. Boss said all of it. So what is my secret ingredient? Don't boil the soup. Yes, but that's not a secret ingredient. That's a tip. Sharon shared. Sharon Shao shared. Hey, you guys are gonna get coupon. Plus one knife. Sharon Shao one knife. <laughs> Later on, there's one more thing. I think we should all get it. Because it's so pretty and I think it works really well. Okay, Charlene, so I have a recommendation for sushi knife. You want a recommendation or you want him to buy it for us? You want to order? Okay, so this is uh, super good now. This is already good, in my opinion. Yep. Salty enough. Oh yeah, this is perfect. Oh, this is perfect. This is perfect. People, my guests today are so lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Save me. <laughs> Save me. Okay. okay. Do you? So we cut it, cover it, or put it in, or later? Uh, later. Just okay. Cover. Pour it a little bit. Yeah. Okay. All right. So the other one. Okay. Next. Is the kampachi. 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 Compact, oh, I just said, yeah, it's a ribeye of the sea. Ribeye of the sea. 
I always repeat myself. Because I'm getting old. That's what happened. Keep telling people the same thing over and over again. <laughs> so the fish you can do is cut off the, uh, like I said, cut off the, the color. color. Uh, yeah. yeah. Color. Cut it off. Goose fat. See if you can. You did not watch, Henry. <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to play smart, but you didn't watch it. But he should get some consolation. But good that. for knowing goose fat ingredients. Okay, I'll allow you to eat extra sushi today. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Christine, say invite me over next time, please. Of course. Mona say she just finished her job. Yay! TGI Friday! <laughs> She's like, not for me, I'm still working. <laughs> <laughs> okay, see, he's uh, taking care of, the, care of the bone. These are more difficult because it's a fish fillet, but then later on with the, how do you say, a fish block? <laughs> It'll be a lot ocean. easier. Yeah, ocean. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Okay, so Charlene also want to order a knife. Okay. Didn't know we we're gonna be <laughs> taking orders here. How many people ordered a knife? Raise your hand. Oh, husband, be careful. Everybody's gonna have a sharp knife now. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the fish you cannot twist the fish bone. You just need to cut it. Okay. Some yeah. of the bones are more stubborn. It's harder yeah. to take it out then you have to cut it off but then because when you cut it off you also sacrifice by some meat right yeah. fish meat especially if you're not very skillful then you're like taking a chunk of meat out so if you can twe tweeze it out it's still better otherwise um, yeah slice it off We have bigger surface to work on. Okay, so guest here, if you get bones, just spit it out, okay? <laughs> <laughs> if you come to my house and I do sashimi, if you get bones, just spit it out yourself. This is a how Asian house, okay? In Asian's family, mom never care about bones, fish bones. You spit it out, okay? No. You never eat like a fillet with no bones. Fish is always with bones, okay? You so, learn how to spit it out. So this fish needs to take out the skin, so we're gonna. Oh, Kamachi, you need to take out the skin. Ooh. So some of the fish need to take out the skin. Okay, how do you do it? So you you just Wait, hold on, Robin. Does it show? Uh, Froze fry. again. It, it freezes. You know what? I'm gonna do this then. Okay. Oh, here. All right. Okay. So you hold the tail. Uh huh. And then just move a little bit. Put it up. Gotta get a good Shake grip, it, huh? pull it, and move your knife at the same time. Yeah, it's so easy. Not hard at all. Oh, look at that! Dun, dun, dun. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay. Are so you... you're gonna take all this okay. and trash it up. Yeah. Okay, remember if you want coupon, doesn't matter new or old customers, right? Yeah. Everybody! Everybody get to Get $15 coupon if you share this video and comment share, okay? Because I can't follow, go and see who shared and who didn't share. Because Also, because sometimes because of your privacy setting, I don't get to see if you really did share. Or I'll see you share, but I wouldn't, I mean, I will see people share, but I won't be able to see who. So I can't give you the coupon code. Beautiful Nobody post. knows my secret ingredients. <laughs> I, I'm about to say some dirty words. <laughs> two ways. Uh, you can, okay, two ways. You can just 
cut it straight. Cut it straight. It's yeah. the easiest way. Everybody yeah. knows how to do it. People are like, then why don't we just all do that? <laughs> uh, someone wants to do the uh, nigiri. Oh, nigiri. So you need to be yeah, more, thinner and then thinner, longer. Yeah. Okay. Everyone's on keto diets. Nobody's eating nigiri nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mona shared. Li Jin shared. Li Jin, you need to share because you always order, right? It's good to have a little, you know, coupon. <laughs> I actually didn't know Serena's DC food until Li Jin. Okay, it's like I, I always see Li Jin eating uh, sashimi and I'm jealous. I'm like, where did she get sashimi all the time? And then I get to know this handsome young man delivered to my house and I'm like, mmm. <laughs> Let's try to do something together. Yep. <laughs> Would that be seaweed or onion? What is it? Sorry, Abby, I don't know what which one you're talking about. Oh, secret ingredients. Oh, sorry, I forgot my own question. <laughs> I can't blame my audience then. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll give you a little, you know. Yeah. <laughs> no, not seaweed and onion. Keep guessing. Gosh, I didn't want you guys to guess. I thought you guys would know because you would watch my live. That hurts my feeling a little bit. Hot water? Who said that? <laughs> Jeez, you guys. Chili oil in miso soup, you guys silly. No. Ah, I'll tell you in the end. In the end. <laughs> so you have to watch the whole thing. Oh, sorry. He's already doing something else. Okay, so again, it's a, you know, with an angle, like a 30, 45 degree angle and go in and cut. Did you show in the camera? Okay, so I didn't have to say anything. Yes. <laughs> I was just playing. So this one, you can do the nigiri. Okay, this shape is easier to do nigiri. True, yeah. true. Yeah. Okay. okay. So that's it. That's it for that. Let me so I think this. Well, actually, I have two secret ingredients, but anyway, I'll tell you guys later. I need to, keep, like, you know, like we Taiwanese always, or Asian, we always like give people a quiz, right? So every once in a while, I need to give out a quiz. Sugar? No. No, Victoria. Milene? Uh, no. Tofu? Sesame? Is it sesame or sesame? Eddie, you have to spell right. <laughs> I'm not giving it away easily. Sorry. Okay, put the egg tofu in. Okay. Yeah. Want me to break it? Yeah. Okay, I'll do it. Okay, so the rest is just basically put these in. Okay? I'm gonna do it because this is not an important job. You can prepare the okay. fish. I like to be a sous chef. No pressure. Hondashi. Sharon, Sharon, Sharon. Disappointed. Oh my god, he goes to your house right now. Yes. Um, later on, we will see people lining up <laughs> outside of our house and we'll turn the light off like, we're not home. <laughs> Okay, so hold on, hold on. So for if you get a block of fish, the, you know, okay, they're coming in Still. with like a green uh, a tissue paper kind of thing. You open it up Still and frozen. eat. Still very frozen. Yeah. So what do we do? We, we need to have a, have a bit more time. Oh, have a little bit more time? Okay, that's fine. Um, so what you do is... Okay, we can do wasabi first, but then now uh, let me show them. So how do you, uh, can I put this on the board? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So when you open up that green tissue paper, you will have these vacuum seal bag. But don't trust the vacuum seal bag because it's been frozen. So sometimes they might be leak, okay? So when you submerge these uh, fish in the water, you don't want to have any risk to have the 
the water go into the package. So that's when we recommend, the chef recommend, to put them in a Ziploc bag and seal it tight and then submerge into uh, icy cold water if you need to eat it like within a couple hours. Yeah? Yep. Okay. If you don't need to eat it right away, you can plan ahead. You can put the whole block of fish in the fridge overnight until you need to eat it and then cut it. Then the whole point is you don't want it to defrost with dramatic temperature change. That, that lower the quality of the fish. So you want it to be like in a cold, icy um, environment to gradually defrost. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. A plus student. <laughs> you guys, yeah. you guys failed, okay? <laughs> Nobody knows my secret ingredient. Look at me, A plus student. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Since we had, we need a little more time. We're gonna show you guys our amazing wasabi and how we're gonna do it. And that's what I tell you. I, I like the tool. We're gonna show you. You have to put the veggies in. Uh, yes, I'm doing it. This sushi I've had ADHD. Sometimes I do one thing and I forgot to keep doing it. <laughs> Bonito, no, MSG <laughs> in, in this house. You guys insulting me. Soy sauce, no. I don't even want to tell you guys anymore. <laughs> Eddie, sesame oil, or maybe, no, not sesame oil, but you're the closest one, okay? That's the last hand I'm gonna give, the only hand I'm gonna give. Oh my god, I thought they're good friends. They will not be invited again next time. <laughs> I thought they watched all my live. <laughs> Guess not. Or maybe people were just charmed by my beauty. Forgot to listen to me. Mm -hmm. that's, that's probably what <laughs> sure, happened. Sure, whatever you want to say. Exactly. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> look at this wasabi! Hold on, sorry. Okay. Uh, let me... It's... And we're done with the miso, right? For now. Yeah, uh, ready to drink. Yeah. Drink alcohol? Yeah. Oh, okay, <laughs> you said this one's ready. Okay, I'm gonna move it a, a little bit further. So, you know, it's not too hot in front of me. Okay, we're just gonna keep it warm. So it's, yeah. Let it sit there. That's the last In the part. end, yeah. yeah. Wow, these wasabi, you know, I, I'm telling you, you can. If you're in Seattle, uh, you will see these in Wachimaya. Mm -hmm. But totally different story, okay? It's not as good as this one. Do you wanna tell them how much this is? <laughs> Uh, they will know yeah, yeah, eventually. Yeah. This is the one piece around like um, the the weight around like zero point three pounds, mm -hmm. and then uh, seventy five dollar per piece. Yeah, seventy five dollars yeah, yeah. per piece. Yeah, and then um, this is different than the Wajmaya one is mm -hmm. because the main thing the Wajmaya one is from the Oregon, and then Oregon has the. Uh, <laughs> The root, the root, the, the sprouts, the, yeah. the hat. Uh -huh. But import one, you never see this one. Okay. Yeah, the, the import one, you have to cut it because for, oh, for agriculture yeah, reason. Yeah. Yes, you mm -hmm. cannot then, plant it again. Good tip. Actually, you could. You could. Ooh, okay. I'm not paying any money. <laughs> Pay this, and I'm gonna secretly grow. One of my customers, they, you know, they they grow that. This? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Out of this? Yeah. They go, go after they, they do the wasabi, they go go about another. Ah. Really? Yeah. That makes the money worthwhile. <laughs> because I want to ask you, because seventy five dollars, you know, you can't use the whole root at once. Yeah. How long does it keep? Uh, it depends. Uh, you can you can do it at one month, no problem. Okay. How do you keep it? Uh, you keep it in the fridge. And Wrap then, it with a paper towel or something, yeah, or no? Yeah, a little bit. 
a little bit wet. Oh, not, a little wet. Not, yeah, not too too wet. And mm -hmm. then you can use the uh, the plastic bag to wrap it. Okay, a Ziploc bag. Yeah. So a damp paper towel in a Ziploc bag. Do you need yeah. to change the paper towel all the time for that month? Uh, a week's. Every, yeah, week. every week. Every week. Yeah. Because it's seventy five dollars. You better pamper it. <laughs> <laughs> it worth it. I it's mean, worth it. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah, it worth it. And then. Um, so the Japanese one usually will cut off the the roots outside because okay. they don't want the appearance look so dark. Yeah. You so, want to be like bright green. Yeah. So fresh. once you cut it, you will see the green. Oh, come look up. at the beautiful exactly. color. Yeah, green come out. And this has no coloring, okay? People, this is a real color. Not like the tube one with all coloring and horseradish. <laughs> Isn't it? It's more more like a horseradish and coloring. So you Reina, it. sesame paste. Okay, one more try. Uh, fish sauce or oyster sauce. Well, it might work, but it's not what I put in. So yes, it's the sesame paste. <laughs> the job. <laughs> okay, so what I do is in the end, I'm gonna put in some sake and some sesame paste to uh, get the, the complicated depth of flavor into the miso soup. Okay, now you learn everybody. Next time I'm gonna ask again. Yes, can you special guest today? Okay, you just kind of uh, uh, cut off yeah, all the right. outside the skin yeah. and the root. Yeah. So I'm not doing the perfect way, but you can just, you know. What is the perfect way though? You need to just more clean. Oh, oh okay. A little bit. Okay. Yeah. So that is, and then you can grind it. Okay, now but people. There's a two side. Okay. <laughs> One side is more spicy. Uh-huh. And the other, the other side is more uh, smelling. Oh, okay. Uh, aromatic? Yeah. Which side is aromatic? This side is more aromatic. Okay, so the, the, yeah, bo bottom, the bottom is more aromatic, and the head, the top, is more spicy. So you probably want to mix both, or? Yeah. Oh, okay, so you want to mix up both. Huh. What is the sesame paste? Zi <laughs> White sesame paste. I'll show later. It's so beautiful. You see? Which one? For this one. Oh, this one is working again. This one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now people, look at the tool. This one, so beautiful. There's like little Japanese, uh, what's that called, Baba? Hmm? These are the thing, which one can see? What do you mean? Here, Japanese. The, the, their letter, their, their, what's that called? Oh, it's the hiragana. Hiragana, hiragana, hiragana. <laughs> <laughs> this one? Yeah. Okay, see how beautiful it is? And then these are sharp, these are sharp. You don't want it. And so he's gonna grate the wasabi on top of this. And it's gonna be very fine, um, grated. Yeah. Yeah. Great, grated. Yeah, fine grated. Huh? Yeah, fine grated. Fine grated. Yeah. Okay. So let's see. This is the normal one. You guys can use this one. <laughs> this is what Japanese chef use. This is what you get on Amazon. Your choice. Okay. You want what Japanese chef use? Comment. Okay. What? How do you say? What is this? The grinder. Japanese yeah, grinder. grinder. Okay, or Amazon, you go find yourself, okay? <laughs> you want to order one set, what, what you have to, can we order the grinder? Yes, you have to say grinder plus one. Oh, look how fine it is. Because the grinder is not on the website, it's special access just today. 
If you want the grinder, say grinder plus one. You want the knife, say knife plus one. If you want both, you say knife plus one and grinder plus one. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> uh, yes. Okay, right now I got the grinder. Can you, this one still frozen? No. Okay, yeah, you can see the, how fine this whole, like, um, almost like, like, um, how do it's you like say, a like a mashed potato kind of like good mash paste mm. kind of kind of thing or you want to use that no it doesn't matter yeah, yeah. get a bigger one that's probably easier uh, that makes a total so difference good. if you don't use this the wasabi will still taste good but then it will look totally different okay you can try you can try to use that one yeah. You want to try? Yeah. Okay. The chef is going to show you what Amazon's one looks like. <laughs> Handsome CEO plus one, how do you do? Rainbow say Handsome CEO plus one. Oh, that I can't, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> It depends on how much commission I get. <laughs> I, I'll connect you guys. No. It's so different. Look. Yeah, you guys look. Okay, we should actually use the. Yeah, we will use that because then people can see the difference. Well, but if you can settle with that, go with Amazon, no problem. Because this is not his main yeah. business. He yeah. doesn't need a. <laughs> this corner you know so he's just doing us a favor because you guys um, are here sashimi ma yes sashimi it's very different i don't know can can it can you move up yeah, move up so this one amazon and this was very fine this is the, the ja yeah, japanese chef one it's like yeah can you tell from the camera okay yeah. done yep Okay, it's like heaven and not hell, but heaven and <laughs> human world. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's it. Okay, that's it. So your show now. <laughs> my show, my show. <laughs> no, we still have to show people the. Yeah, um, we the fish, but yeah. still hold them right now. So oh, okay. Oh, okay. We need another ten minutes. Ten minutes. Then what about I show you guys one more time how to make the miso soup, right? <laughs> Okay, let me get my sesame Before it's uh, ground, is it ground, right? Mm -hmm. But then the Taiwanese one, it's roasted sesame paste. So it's roasted, so it's more fragrant, okay? If you don't believe me, let me introduce you guys. Our special guest today, okay? He's like the hottest of the hottest right now. Okay, have you guys, I need to have him on and then you tell me if you know him. The celebrity. Come on. I never told you guys I'm friends with him. And then he can tell you if it smells good. Thank you for coming. Who is this? Okay, everybody. Everybody comment. Come on. Do you know who this guy is? Who this celebrity is? I'm gonna let you go. get the sample uh, uh, store noodle sample kit too. It does. It smells fantastic. <laughs> this is, you know, how celebrities yeah. they just say those things. <laughs> Where can I get this kind of wasabi? Oh, so this wasabi he sell. Uh, where do you deliver to? 
Hmm? Well, he doesn't just deliver in Seattle. He also delivers in San Jose, San Jose, the Bay Area, and LA. Bay Area and LA. Okay, so if you are in this area, <laughs> you can always get on Serenity Seafood and you can order from him, and then it's on his You're website. Not done. <laughs> okay, so I want you to taste the soup before and after. Okay, so I'm gonna have a bowl before the sesame. Okay, and then later you also have a bowl after the sesame um, paste. So you can tell people the difference. Hey, who is this celebrity, people? <laughs> who is this celebrity? Where is my... Oh, here. Okay, this one is before. Okay, hold on. Do it later. Okay. okay, now I'm gonna use the. Oh, I need another here. Okay, oh, this is too big. Too, too big. Oh, a very. You know, you put a little bit in, nobody will know that there's sesame paste in there, but uh, but if you are serving a guest, you have to know, ask, um, because some people have allergy, right? Um, but if you put a little bit of sesame paste in, it just create another depth of flavor and make it like richer. Rainbow says Shang-Chi! <laughs> <laughs> you got it, Rainbow! <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> We didn't know until we saw the movie and then we realized, oh, our friend is Sun Chi. <laughs> That's awesome. So see, not just us thinking that he looks like him. Okay, again, because sesame paste is harder to dissolve, so that's why we do it with a strainer or a colander kind of thing, strainer, to dissolve it. This is very thick. And I'm telling you, every soup, every kind of soup, if you can find some kind of alcohol to put in, like drizzle in at the very end, it will elevate your soup, okay? It will taste like a big restaurant level kind of soup instead of homemade. Like chicken soup, you won't believe it. Chicken soup, it goes actually, if you sprinkle some, drizzle some whiskey on top, oh my God. Oh my god, it's so good. It's like it's like you have a personal chef in your kitchen. And you don't taste really the alcohol and you don't need a lot. You just need like a little bit and it will just elevate. Like nowadays my kids will ask if I serve chicken soup, they'll be like, Did you add whiskey, mom? <laughs> it doesn't sound right, but you know, they know what they're eating. They know their food. Okay. Most of it is dissolved. Okay, Shang-Chi, Shang-Chi, you're up, Shang-Chi. <laughs> okay. This is the one with the sesame paste. Okay. Okay, now you have to drink this one okay. first. Very good. It's already pretty good? Yes. Okay, try this. Yeah? It is a little different. It's it is, not, right? It's not your typical miso. miso soup. But then you can't tell. Can you tell there is sesame in there, though? No, no, no. Not if, yeah. not, not if I didn't tell you. Yes, yes. yes. Okay, then you try another one. Oh. That's, <laughs> one okay. more. That's with sake. Just a little bit of sake. You don't need expensive sake, okay? Just like the cheap, dry sake. Okay, now you dry it. That's another layer of flavor. Here. Oh, we, yeah, we need a... Yeah, hey, and house. then your ring can work. Oh, Whoa, my ring! Power ring. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get him a real, some better ring. Thank you, thank you. 
You guys are doing great, Sam. You're, you're amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sam. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> See? <laughs> okay, so now you know my miso soup trip, okay? It's the sesame paste and a little sake. And the sake thing, the alcohol in the soup kind of thing, it works in most of the, the uh, soup. Onion soup. Okay, if you get onion soup from Trader Joe, okay, those frozen ones, how do you make it taste amazing? Again, drizzle a little bit of whiskey. I am serious, not because I'm an alcoholic. I mean, it really is gonna help, okay? <laughs> okay, now are we ready for the... Yeah, I'll just try two, okay? Okay, we'll try yeah, two just, of them yeah. and show you guys how we do it, how he does it. So what are these? Chutolo and Otolo? This is Otolo, this is Akami. Oh, Akami. Yeah. Okay. Otolo. It's a fatty one. Stray birds, did I answer you uh, the, the question? Because I don't know where you live. But otherwise, I don't know, where else can we, can she get this kind of wasabi? I don't think, I think you'll need to find a supplier who can deliver to your area. Which area are you in, Stray Bird? Stray Bird. <laughs> so tip alcohol makes everything better. It is. See, when you get like a block of that fish, you're like, okay, which side do I cut? Because it's like meat. If you cut it wrong, it, 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 you waste the whole thing. A meat can be tender if you cut it right, and if you, if you cut it wrong, it could be like jerky. So against it. Just... Oh wait, so wait. So after they defrost, if they don't want to use it right away, what do they do? I remember you said like wrap in a paper towel or something. Oh yeah, you can wrap it in a paper towel. No. Once it's out. completely defrosted, you can just wrap it in a paper towel and then yes. keep it in the free fridge. Yeah. Until you need to use it. Yes. Okay. Okay. But um, <coughs> for the otolo and chutolo, because the oil content is so high. Very mm -hmm. fatty. Yeah. So I do not recommend to Wait. put the put in the fridge. Okay, just use yeah. it whenever it's ready. Yeah, because because uh, it's very fatty. It will Otherwise, change the texture. It will be, it will melt and it will be very greasy, right? Yeah. It will kind of waste the taste and texture of it. And you, he said because, um, the this otolo, this is otolo, right? Yeah, that's it. Because it will, it will come with skin on. Because if it doesn't come with skin on, because it's so fatty, it will, it can't hold its shape. Mm. So it will always have the skin on. So you want to cut it off. Even though it's so expensive, you don't want to waste any bit of it, but you want to cut it off, okay? Yeah, don't chew it on the skin. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you want to cut the uh, skin off. And the fat, the extra That's fat. Amazing. That looks like a steak. It does, and then I touch it, it's just oil, fish oil. So... You can cut it like against the grain. Okay, against it. So if the grain is like this, you cut it like this. Yeah. So okay. you can just cut it that Kind of like cutting meat, yeah. yeah. And then just straight down. Yeah. Um, depends on how thick you want to wanna eat it. This plate? Yeah. Okay. Oh, and then also the hamachi. Mm -hmm. Is it? Defrost. Oh yeah, I, I think. Do you want to show them how to take, get rid of that blood? Blood line. Mm -hmm, yeah. line. Yeah. So once you cut it, um, still that blood here. But then the otoro or chutoro, I think you need to eat it right away. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want to wait until it's room temperature because then it will be too greasy for your. If your thing is that still a lot of grain on mm -hmm. the side, you can just slightly 
doing. Oh, okay. If you can slice a few uh, cut, it's just kind of like what we did with the other fish skin thing. So you kind of cut the tendon or the grin. What is that called, honey? In fish, I don't know. In meat, what it is called? I, I, I don't know. Anyway, you know, just cut it a little slices to kind of cut the tendon and off so then it will be soft yeah, it's easier to choose. Like this. Oh, see? Okay, which one? Let's do this one. Okay. Here. So you slice it to, to cut off these, the you know, grain. yeah, Makes off it easier a little too. bit so it will be easier to chew. Okay, mm -hmm. your turn. Hmm? My turn. <laughs> <laughs> to what? To eat? Yeah. Oh, lucky me! Okay. <laughs> Shang-Chi, you want to do it? Yeah, yeah Shang-Chi. Shang-Chi, come on, come on! Come on! <laughs> Shang-Chi is shy, I don't understand. He's, he's, he's fighting some Oh, wait, guys. I'm gonna do a little bit with this. Can you pour it? Robert, you cannot take a one. Maybe you just do the... Uh, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Ah, not too much. Okay. He's looking at this one. No, the tongue is going to fall. Hey guys, lucky me, I'm going to eat now. And you're right. You know, I have to be honest. There was one time I ordered it, and then we were waited too long, so it got a little greasy. It wasn't this good. And also, I didn't know I had to cut the slices of the, the you know, tendon or grin, whatever that's called. So it was harder to chew, chew, and that scared me off a little bit because it's a pricey piece, you know. But this time it is so good. Mmm. Guys, see? Okay, so demonstrate. <laughs> okay, that's it. Okay, we'll do other ones. Yeah. What about this one? Because this one you say... Oh, that's our kami, yeah. Normally, because they want to make sure the portion is right for the family size. So, yeah. sometimes you don't get like a whole block thing. So, you will get like a triangle kind of shape. Mona is jealous. I know, Li Jing. I, I feel uh, so lucky. So good. But it's just really just against the grind, grin, yeah, against the grin. and then um, just cut it. Yeah. How come you can do several things, mm -hmm. but uh, you can Google it. Okay. Is there some some kind of technique called mm -hmm. uh, put a soy sauce inside to to? Kind of, oh, I know the to yeah. to suck in the soy sauce. Yes, yeah. to cure it, yeah. kind of. Is it cure it, marinate? Yeah, some kind of marinade. marinade. But then you know, or or sometimes people I know that some chef will like do a thick layer of salt. Yeah. Can you do that too? Uh. Not this fish. I don't know. Yeah. To kind of quickly cure the fish before to so intensify the flavor. Oh, it is so good! I so want to eat another piece. <laughs> Can you use your side camera to show what? Oh, to show how he cut it? Oh, well, too late. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's basically just straightforward. You could get, go against the grain yeah. and then just cut it. But now he want to show you the hamachi. The hamachi. Last time we ordered, my kids were like, oh, best hamachi we've ever had. Uh, the reason we want to show the hamachi is because when it comes, there is this bloodline. Bloodline. Yeah, the bloodline. Bloodline in the center. Okay, you can eat it, but some people don't like the taste of it. Okay, when you're in a sushi store, they don't show you that part. They take it away. So now Sam is gonna show you how to take that away. But See, if you yeah, don't want to, oil. <laughs> yeah, all the green fish oil from the otoro. From otoro. Amazing. See, why would why do we need to eat fish oil as a supplement? We just eat otoro every day. <laughs> right? 
Okay, so he wants to show you guys if you want to take away the blood line. This is what you do. This one's easier. Okay. You just want to every time go really thin because you don't want to waste good quality of fish, right? So you just um, go really thin until you take care of the whole thing. Pretty take them away, yeah. And then you just cut it. Is this the belly part or is it just the... Oh, uh, this is belly part, this yes. This is belly part. We only get the best stuff here. <laughs> it depends how big you want to cut it. Mm -hmm. You can cut it smaller. Yeah. You have too many guests, cut it smaller. <laughs> <laughs> we have a lot of food, so don't worry. Okay. <laughs> yeah. They actually have wagyu beef, right? Yeah, we have a wagyu beef. All kinds, right? Yeah, Japanese one and then the American one. Japanese and American ones. You want to show them your beef the real beef. quick? Yeah. And also, where's it's my... <laughs> okay. It's on the website now. And there is this amazing oyster from Japan, yeah? Yeah. This amazing oyster from Japan that he actually taught me a new way to take care of it. That's very uh, new and fancy. So we are going to keep those things for the next time, okay? But now, I give you one last chance to comment, to share, and comment, share, so you can get the $15 coupon for Serenity Seafood, okay? One more chance, I'll give you one minute, okay? Take timer, one minute. And then you can show them the Oh, uh, this is the um, tea ball. The yeah. T-bone. Yeah. Uh, this, this side is the... Is this a Japanese or is no, it No, this is a American Wagyu. This is the American Wagyu. So this side is the New York Street. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then this side, the little one is the tenderloin. Mm -hmm. But it uh, depends how big on the tenderloin side. If you go the bigger side, mm -hmm. it costs the uh, porterhouse. Mm -hmm. So this is small, mm -hmm. less than two and a half inch. Mm -hmm. So we call it T-bone. Oh, okay. Mm. So you can taste the different of the texture of the, and the flavor too, yeah, yeah? Yeah. Okay. So he has different cuts and different kinds of um, um, wagyu, Japanese or American. Yeah. And then they also have oysters that is really good, fat and good from Japan. And then I remember you guys also have um, unagi. Yeah, we have a unagi too. Yeah, the unagi from Japan. From Japan, Japan as well, yes. yeah? It's not from it's China. 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 Yeah. yeah, not from China, it's from Japan. And it's already cooked, so all you need to do is open up the uh, defrost, open it up, yep. and then... You can boil uh, You can boil in the uh, oven, or you can just microwave it. And then just put it on top of your rice, yeah. and there you go, you have your hunaju at home. Yeah. All right? Okay, people! So I hope uh, this is uh, this make you feel like it's easier to do sushi at home, because all of these... Okay, say so the hamaji, the one that you show us, mm -hmm. that piece, how much is it on the website? Hamaji is like, a uh, belly one is $30. $30? Uh -huh. Gosh, you can't order that in the Japanese restaurant for that amount, right? And this is a very premium quality. Yeah. And you got $15 off coupon, is like 20 yep. Yeah? Yeah? yeah. yeah. My yeah. math? Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so just share and comment, share it, and you will get the coupon and you can get on uh, Serenity Seafood and give us a try. And if you, and I also, you know, they have a Facebook page as well and you can get on there. I think you sometimes post videos there too, right? Uh, to yeah, To show people yes. how uh, you can take care, how uh, you prepare sashimi and fish and all that. Yeah. Right? So what do you think? Success? Success. Success. <laughs> Ooh, yay! Thank you, everybody. Yep. Thank you.